This afternoon, postal problems continue out of the new USPS Processing Center in Palmetto. Every day we are hearing from you about delays or lost mail. And right now, our Christy Diaz has the latest as lawmakers are now pushing for answers. Over the weekend, we saw a line of tractor trailers filled with mail, backed up with nowhere to go, waiting to be processed at the new USPS facility in Palmetto. The new Regional Processing and Distribution Center opened February 24th, an effort to consolidate services from the Atlanta, Augusta, Macon, and Duluth centers, a move USPS said would expedite mail service across the country and save money. But only a week after opening, people started to complain about delays in critical pieces of mail. I haven't gotten any mail, including my paycheck. On Saturday, we spoke to Fulton County Commission Chairman Rob Pitts, who says he is working with federal lawmakers to fix the problems. If the guy who represents the unions and the employees is correct, that there were some personnel moves that were made that have contributed to this problem, that needs to be addressed. Chairman Pitts says he plans to meet with Senator John Ossoff, who is also pressing leaders for answers, opening an inquiry with Postmaster General Louis DeJoy. There have also been uh, alarming allegations and reports of criminal activity. It starts with establishing the facts, uh, and that's what we're seeking to do through this initial inquiry. And once we have uh, a more full accounting of the Postal Service's position, and uh, then we'll be able to contemplate what further action may be necessary in the Senate. Until then, many people around Metro Atlanta are scraping by, waiting for solutions to these postal problems. And that was our Christy Diaz reporting there. We know a lot of you are worried about your bills and tax returns getting where they need to be on time. So here are a few things you can consider. First, you can drop off your checks in person instead of relying on mail delivery. But if that's not possible, the Better Business Bureau recommends reaching out to the company directly that you're doing business with. They might allow you to pay over the phone. And if you cancel the check that was already mailed, you might have to pay a stop payment fee, but the Bureau says you can also ask the, your bank to remove or waive that fee. As for your taxes, H&R Block says those documents have to be postmarked by April 15th. So if you've already mailed them already or if you have them mailed by that date, you should be okay. Right now, we are working. We're continuing to get answers to these issues. If you are dealing with USPS problems at your home or your job, let us know. You can email us at postalproblems at 11alive.com.